Hello and good day to you. We're looking at a new series of videos. That would be unit 1.3.1, networks and topologies. And today we're going to start with lesson one, types of network. Boring. So that's just what we're gonna do at the top here. Types of network, LAN and WAN, why we need networks, what they are, that sort of thing. First question, what is a network? Well, a network is where two or more computer devices are connected together using cables or wirelessly. This means that they can share resources. By computer device, I don't necessarily mean a typical kind of desktop computer. That can include laptops, printers, servers, routers, tablets, smartphones, fitness trackers, all kinds of devices around the home that can connect to your computer network. So why do we have networks? Why do you go through all that cost and effort in linking computers together both locally and internationally? Well, one of the main reasons is the ability for computers to share hardware resources such as printers and internet connections. This allows schools and offices to save money as they don't need a dedicated printer for each PC. So you can have one printer for the entire office or an entire room full of computers, and every computer can print to it. We also have the ability to exchange data between computers without needing to use physical media such as memory sticks or external hard drives. This is very useful in schools or office settings and can be achieved using shared drives and folders. And I'm assuming you've got something very similar in your school. Network users can also communicate easily using email or even video calls. I turn on my computer. I go online. Welcome. Welcome. And my breath catches in my chest until I hear three little words. You've got mail. Using networks in larger organizations like schools and businesses allows computers to be managed centrally by a network manager. This enables them to update software remotely and manage security centrally through the use of firewalls and anti-malware software. I know in my school we recently had a network update. Uh, at the end of the day, all the computers in my computer lab were all updated at the same time. We didn't need the network manager to come around and update each computer individually. It just happened all at once, and then they were all updated and good to go. Data can be backed up centrally. Backups do not need to be made from individual machines. Instead, backups can be made directly to the central file server, or even nowadays to the cloud, what we call online storage. So for example, if I accidentally delete all my answers for test, that's no problem. Our network manager can just reinstall the last backup made at the end of each day, and I get all those answers back again. Access to files and resources for different users can be controlled. So obviously, students see one set of files and folders in the school, and the teachers can see a different set of files and folders. We can also monitor user activity, who's doing what, where, and when online. However, there are disadvantages to networks. One of those disadvantages is the cost. Networks are expensive to set up and maintain. You have to buy both specialist equipment and actually hire staff to run the network. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> okay, well, are you sure that it's plugged in? Security can also be a concern once we start networking large groups of computers together. For example, if a piece of malware like a worm or a virus is introduced to a network, it can spread rapidly from machine to machine. It also becomes more vulnerable to hackers. If a hacker gets access to a network, he can access all the computers that are part of that. This is why we need security countermeasures on networks to help prevent this. Things like uh, anti-malware software and firewalls. There are two main types of network you need to know about local area networks, LANs, and wide area networks, WANs. A local area network is a computer network located within a small geographic area. This may be in one building, for example, a home or an office. It might be in a group of buildings, like a school or a university. With a local area network, the hardware is usually owned and maintained by the organization that uses it. In a local area network, Devices are connected together, wired or wirelessly. We can use Ethernet cables made of copper or use radio waves with Wi-Fi. 
On the other hand, a wide area network, a WAN, covers a large geographic area. That might be across a province, a country, or sometimes worldwide. The connections between the sites are usually hired or leased from a telecommunications company. So if my school wants to network a new building that's right next to it, it supplies all the cables and all the equipment itself. It pays for everything, it maintains everything. But if we want to link to a school on the other side of the country, we're not gonna lay thousands of miles of cables. We're gonna rent use of an existing network from a big telecommunications company. You can think about a WAN like multiple LANs connected together over a long distance. For example, wide area network might be used to connect together the LANs of a company with offices spread across London. Okay, that's obviously a spelling error there. It should be a company. Or, for example, link together offices in London, Paris, Los Angeles, and Tokyo. This means a worker in one office can access files on the other side of the world as if they're all part of the same local area network. Of course, the largest wide area network is the Internet. The Internet connects together all the different wide area networks of the world together in one massive WAN. What is it? This, Jen, is the Internet. <laughs> We connect LANs together to form WANs over long distance using different transmission media. This includes things like copper telephone cables, fiber optic cables, and even satellite communications. In summary, a computer network is where two or more computer devices are connected together using cables or wirelessly. And there are many advantages to doing this. The two main types we need to know about are local area networks, these cover a small geographic area, and the company that uses the network is responsible for the infrastructure. And we have a wide area network, a WAN. This covers a large geographic area, and the infrastructure is provided by a large telecommunications company, and the business that's using it kind of leases access from that large telecommunications company. I hope that was informative for you. I will see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.